Boom! Uh, a, a little... What is happening with my phone? Uh, a little bit of a change of the setup, a, a little bit of a strange camera angle, but at least I think there is no tilt or anything. Just move on. As we have done for Raw, for NXT, now it's time for SmackDown to cover everything that is happening on SmackDown that I'm interested in. And uh, for the future episodes, go into a little bit more detail about the actual show. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso at SummerSlam. That is like one week away. I'm really excited to see that match. I think it's their third or fourth match. I haven't done my research yet, but I feel like Jay is gonna lose that one. I was thinking what and how the match will go and honestly I'm, I cannot see the future or I uh, cannot uh, know what are the plans for Jay or Roman for the future, but um, I feel like Jay will not dethrone Roman. Don't get me wrong. Jay is a world championship material, no doubt about it, but I feel like there are better options to dethrone Roman. And uh, honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. I was really excited when I saw Jay spearing uh, last night people, left and right. And uh, I was really excited to see Jay dominating Grayson Waller. And uh, yeah, really good things about Jay in general and uh, they're making him really believable but uh, yeah I don't know what's gonna happen with Roman if he loses except he's gonna take a big vacation after that and whatnot but uh, listen to me on this one I feel like the best person to dethrone Roman is gonna be Bray Wyatt I know a hot take some people might not agree with me but some people might see it. I'm not the biggest fan of Bray Wyatt, but I really appreciate a good character work, and I feel like Bray Wyatt is putting a lot of work into his character, but this is not exactly the reason I think he should dethrone Roman, but because it's gonna be a full circle. Jay and Roman will happen at SummerSlam, Bray Wyatt will return uh, with the same banger uh, and uh, explosion as Roman did like three years ago and Bray is gonna dethrone Roman with a very good character and finally that Undertaker passing of the torch and a Roman passing the title to Bray is gonna make Bray super believable and from then on Bray is, Bray is gonna be able to build people Roman is gonna be able to build people and the future is in front of us Look, so someone might not agree with me, I, I understand, but it's I can say whatever I want on my show, okay? And you'll like it. Or maybe not. I mean, if you like it, you can like the video as well. LA Knight and the Yeah Movement. Am I the only one who thinks they're doing the same thing as Daniel Bryan like 10 years ago with the Yes Movement? And uh, yeah, right now they're not giving him directly championship chances and they're kind of milking the whole thing trying to build it more and more and more to make it as big big as possible so it can become bigger than LA Knight himself and then they're gonna give him a championship but the difference is that back then they gave a world championship to Daniel Bryan right now they're gonna give him a mid-card championship good bad I don't know uh, but uh, I like LA Knight I would love to see him with the championship. Does he need a championship? Not at all. He's good at the mic, uh, so I think he's gonna pull it off even without a championship. But for some reason, people think that the championship is gonna make super the things super, super different. While we were talking about the US championship or the mid-card championship, I want to mention the the US Championship and the current state of it. Last night we saw Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar qualifying for a match for the title and Santos Escobar won because Rey got injured blah 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 and I realized man it doesn't matter who win it doesn't matter who win for some reason people are not caring about the US Championship since it's not gonna be defended on SummerSlam is gonna be defended on Random Smackdown after SummerSlam. How can I believe that Santos Escobar even has a chance to take it from Austin Theory? How? Like, Austin Theory is low-key untouchable, not because he's 
super good or something, but it's super obvious that he's super protected. And yeah, I don't know, make him more vulnerable or uh, make Santos more believable. I have no idea, do something, man. But I don't believe that uh, Santos has any chance. But the match between Rey and Santos was great, five stars, all of that good stuff. I'm really excited to see what is the future of that new stable between Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. I, as I said in the NXT episode, I think Melo and Trick are gonna join them, but after the Great American Bash when Melo is gonna lose the championship. Nothing to say right now, except we're gonna see Dawkins in a suit. Really excited to see that. I'm not a suit guy, but I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I want to talk a little bit about the state of the women tag team championships. I really respect Sonya Deville. Uh, I see her being in the roster for how many years now? Like five, ten years. I see that she's putting a lot of effort into her work. She has been a manager. She is wrestling good. But who is Chelsea Green? I really don't understand who is she. I, I believe she was in NXT at some point. She was in AEW. And I, I don't know what is the hype about her. To be fair, I don't know who should hold the titles. Honestly, right now, the women's tag team division is not very strong. I wanted to see Shayna and Ronda have a solid run with the titles. But honestly, that was cut off because maybe Ronda is gonna quit after uh, this match, uh, and I get it, but they could have had a mean streak, these two, and uh, they could have dominated the whole division, they could have held it as much as they want, as much time as they need to build another women's tag team to the Trojan them, but uh, yeah, right now that division is a little bit broken, and this is a little bit fortunate for Chelsea Green because I'm asking who is she, but the fact that she's a champion doesn't help at all. And um, really unfortunate for her. A match that I'm really excited about. The third match in their rivalry. Karrion Cross versus AJ Styles. Is it gonna be on SummerSlam? I don't know. Uh, maybe I should check. Honestly, I don't see it in the card for SummerSlam, which makes me a little bit sad because that match would have been a banger. I know that people slept on the first two matches, but the third one is literally gonna be a banger. Karrion Cross just found his way into the main roster. He even has a new finisher, like some sort of a modified F5 that looks devastating. I'm really excited to see that match, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, it's a little bit sad that I don't see it in the SummerSlam card. With that being said, that is everything that I wanted to cover for SmackDown. If you enjoy what I'm talking, you can leave a like, subscribe. I don't like to say this stuff, man. You know, guys, do whatever you want. Be happy, be free, and I'm gonna see you the next couple of days for the Great American Bash. Probably. Bye.